Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again with another episode of the Dortmund career mode here on Xbox One. And yesterday I asked you a question. Which goalkeeper from the two that we got bids accepted for shall we bring into the club? You had the option of Marc-Andre Tersteigen or Bernd Leno. Tersteigen or Leno? Tersteigen or Leno? Hmm. Bernd Leno is the man we're going to be going with. The guy from Bayer Leverkusen coming in for £10 million plus Mitchell Langerak, the other young goalkeeper we're using as a make weight in the deal. A lot of you were saying that uh, try and keep it a little bit more realistic because, of course, De Steigen has in real life uh, signed for Barcelona in Spain along with Claudio Bravo from, uh, from Real Sociedad because, of course, Victor Valdez and uh, Pinto have left Barcelona due to their, uh, their contracts expiring, etc. So uh, I tried to do that. Of course, that's the same reason why we let Lewandowski go in this series and uh, went out of our way to try and bring in Adrian Ramos up top as well. And unfortunately, uh, we couldn't bring in Immobile because he's recently moved to Torino in this uh, particular save. But still, we're, uh, we're doing OK in this uh, transfer window. We've brought on a lot of talent, actually. We've got a little bit left over to try and uh, try and bring something extra in and I'm looking for a cheap cam slash striker I asked on Twitter for a lot of your suggestions like I said in uh, yesterday's video I'm, uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of my decision making now on Twitter asking my followers over there what you think I should do so if you don't follow me on Twitter already there's a link in the description come over there follow me at Chesnoy Gaming and you can keep up to speed with not only this series but every series that I do because uh, as uh, things get bigger and bigger and uh, you know we wanting to have a long running series I can't keep waiting for feedback on a video before making another one uh, by uh, having to upload it to YouTube so if I can get as much feedback as possible via Twitter then that would be absolutely superb a lot of you have already come across and uh, given me your thoughts over there which is very very much appreciated and I can't thank you enough for that so please do continue to do that and of course if you're enjoying this series then let me know in the comment section down below drop the video a like etc and that would be really really appreciated and very good of you to do so but uh, Mats Hummels came very very close to giving us an opening 1-0 lead in this first Bundesliga game of the season Header coming back off the bar and uh, Mkhitaryan is going to break in behind it. Kind of left it a little bit too long before having that shot with his left foot. And unfortunately, the goalkeeper was able to uh, to get down to it and make a good save. Now, one thing I've forgotten to say at the beginning of this episode is that if you need any ultimate team coins, feel free to check the link in the description. It will take you to footcoinking.com. You can use the code CHES over there, C-H-E-S, and uh, it's an automated instant service. And you'll get 5% off with that discount code. And we don't need any discounts here because we've got a fantastic strike from Adrian Ramos on his debut. His competitive debut has bashed one into the back of the net. Lovely lob through ball. The defender probably should have dealt with it. Didn't do so. And uh, we were able to race on to the end of it. First time finish. And a great 1-0 lead to take as we head in towards half time. They had a chance to bring it back to 1-1 there. The guy chested it down but kind of rushed his shot. He had a lot of time and space on the ball to let that drop a little bit more so he could get his, uh, his head over it, keep it down and get it on target. But we went in at half time with a score at 1-0 as you can see. And uh, we were playing quite well in this opening game actually. We had a very, very positive pre-season with two 3-1 wins and a 5-1 win over Torino in uh, in the three pre-season games. And we got a rather weird second goal here. The uh, the goalkeeper and the defender have a mix-up at the near post after a particularly poor cross from Mkhitaryan, it has to be said. Clearly his left foot isn't as good as uh, as his right one is. And uh, his crossing and shot, shoot, crossing and shotting, crossing and shooting with uh, his left foot isn't anywhere near as good as it is with his right. So I'm going to have to remember that and utilise that when it comes to uh, the rest of the season. But they came close to getting themselves an equaliser here, or not an equaliser, one goal back here. We uh, They had a mix-up their end for uh, for our second. We almost had a mix-up there to get them back in it. Peace check. Uh, kind of almost scoring an own goal as it just hit him as it came back off the post. Fortunately, it went wide and we maintained our tuna win. And Jojic came on, lovely ball over the top to Adrian Ramos, and he's going to bury that into the bottom corner. It makes it 3-0 with 15 minutes to go, and that is going to guarantee us all three points from our opening game in the Bundesliga this season. Really pleased with that. Pleased in particular with Adrian Ramos, clearly going to fill the boots of Robert Lewandowski very, very well indeed. Now, there's still some transfer business to be done. Of course, like I say, I am looking for a cheap, because we don't have much money, a cheap cam slash striker, maybe even a cam striker winger that we can have to, in the rotation of the squad just to make sure that fitness doesn't become an issue because we are light on players at the top end of the pitch. Now, one of which I know it's a bit uh, it's a bit stereotypical, but I'm going to perhaps try and bring in Mikali, or at least he's one of the options I'm looking at. There's also uh, a couple of others that I've put in loan offers for, as you can see. Uh, I did look at Labiad, but unfortunately he's out on loan, so I can't bring him in. Raheem Sterling is clearly a very, very good option. 
I prefer to bring him in on loan if I possibly can and that's what the initial bid here is going to be see if we can get him in on loan from Liverpool he'd fill all three spots behind the striker very very well indeed out wide and in that cam roll and also Ryan Gould is another player that's uh, dubbed by the Scots as the Scottish Messi or at least by Dundee United fans as well and he's actually in real life recently managed to get himself a move to Sporting Lisbon the very very big Portuguese side so uh, he's clearly got something there there's definitely a talent there in Ryan Gold and perhaps we'll try and tap into that with a loan move or a permanent move for him in this transfer window because I just need a little bit of rotation we've got Mkhitaryan there in the cam roll and uh, Royce and Aubameyang are moving around from the wings to up top to win the cam roll so I need a just a little bit more, just one or two more players, hopefully two if we can get two loans in, but we do need a little bit more rotation in that particular part of the uh, of the squad. I've got Moritz Leighton out on loan, but I'm, I'm not too keen on him personally, and uh, it would cost me just over £2 million to recall him from loan, so perhaps if we can get one player in, we may be forced to uh, to try and get Moritz Leighton back off loan, and he can fill in that spot. But uh, if we could bring some fresh blood in, then that would be my preference, it has to be said. But so uh, we're coming up against Frankfurt here in this game, in uh, the second game of the episode, Episode. And unfortunately, Bernd Leno on his debut palms that one softly onto the post. It goes back across the face of the goal and they are able to put the ball into the back of it. With a sliding finish, it was an easy finish in fairness. And I was quite disappointed with Bernd Leno not getting uh, enough on that to get it round the post. But we're going to come up the other end, try and get ourselves back in the game if we possibly could. Again, I'm playing a bit of a rotation side in this one, but that is how Mkhitaryan's right foot is compared to his left. Smashes it. Right into the top right-hand corner. Really, really emphatic finish. And we're back on level terms. Just a couple of minutes after going behind. We pick up a free kick here. Coming up towards the end of the first half. It's a good whip in. And Royce, had he taken that on his right foot, rather than kind of stretching with his left, probably could have found that... Uh, nestling in the bottom corner at the back of the net. You, you can see from the replay, he just stretches with his left. If he had just let that come across him and volleyed it on his right, or even just side-footed it across the ground, I think I might have snuck in the bottom corner. We could have found ourselves ahead just before half-time. And in fact, we were almost going to find ourselves ahead just after half-time. And again through Marco Royce, a good shot down low. Draws a great save out of Kevin Trapp. Is it Kevin Trapp? I think it's Kevin Trapp. Draws a good save out of Trapp, the goalkeeper. And uh, we stay at 1-1. Now, in we is a good little left-wing Japanese guy quite tricky to uh, to uh, to keep hold of actually down that left hand side especially with a, a weaker defense and uh, fortunately for us that deflection went wide of the post and didn't go into the back of the net that would have been the least desirable way to find yourself going behind in the game but Mkhitaryan plays down Alessio Cherzi on the right hand side like I say a bit of a rotation side trying to uh, still missing a couple of players up top but Jojic with a great strike I'm still not sure whether I'm pronouncing that right by the way Jojic you you'll have to let me know in the comment section whether I'm right or wrong if I am wrong then please try and help me with uh, the with the pronunciation perhaps you know write it phonetically etc so I can get my pronunciation right because one guy before said you're pronouncing Yoyitz wrong but then didn't tell me how to pronounce it correctly so I was still a little bit in the dark but as you can see unfortunately we uh, we went behind yet again having to uh, to come back from uh, from a goal behind for a second time in this game Kevin Volan coming on for Henry Mkhitaryan took him off to try and freshen things up in that middle role and he was involved straight away as you can see here he's going to play a nice little ball through to Marco Royce his first shot on his left foot isn't the best comes back off a defender's heel but we are going to try and get ourselves a, uh, a second attempt here we're going to chase them down hound them down get the ball back Nuri Sahin with a great tackle hopefully that's the sort of tackle we can see more of in FIFA 15 with the possession tackle feature they're trying to bring in but Marco Royce on the second attempt same left foot this time finds the back of the net and we're going to take a point from our game away at Eintracht Frankfurt and unfortunately we can't get all 100% points from this episode but still uh, four points from our opening two games in a new team with some, a lot of new additions is a good start to the season again a little bit more of uh, transfer dealings just going on here as you can see a couple of transfer offers coming in a couple that have been uh, rejected for uh, for Ryan Gold and for Bacali as well so I'll raise them just a slightly so you can see Ryan Gold's wages and uh, I think Bacali's wages as well are very very small so I can of course perhaps offer a little bit more in uh, in transfer fee just to cover that because we've got the uh, the leeway with the budgets there as you can see to uh, to allow us to spend more on, on the actual fee rather than giving the player the wages but again not really too sure what they'd want wage wise Raheem Sterling obviously as you can see has a rather large chunk of wages so if I can bring him in I will 
Uh, he's probably my preference of the three because uh, he's a new fresh talent in real life and obviously Bakali is kind of more of a, a FIFA prospect than a, a real life prospect or at least to my knowledge I don't know much about the Eredivisie but of course Sky Sports will be having a, a fifth channel now dedicated to European football from La Liga and from the Eredivisie as well as uh, Champions League and a Euro European qualifier so perhaps I can brush up on my uh, on my Dutch league when that starts in August but so that's going to bring this episode to a close guys thank you very much for watching like I say please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind if you're enjoying the series it's going down very well so far and i'm delighted with the response to be completely honest and of course follow me on twitter if you don't already links in the description there's also a link in the description to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already we're uh, we're closing in on 14,000 subscribers now the channel's growing really really well and we're gaining about 100 people every single day at the minute, which is absolutely insane. I can't thank you enough for the support you guys show the channel. There'll be a My Player episode tonight, so check your sub boxes for that. Of course, subscribe if you haven't already. There is a schedule in the description and on the About tab of the channel page. If you don't know what and when I upload, just so you know what to expect from me and when to expect it. So you can keep up to date with everything on the channel. But as always, I'm still uploading two videos every single day and have been for weeks now. 14 videos a week, and that will continue for at least the end of FIFA 14 probably into FIFA 15 as well so I'm working myself down to the bone for you guys I hope you appreciate it that's going to bring this episode to a close thank you very much for watching links on screen and in the description for everything socially and uh, of course to subscribe as well and uh, I will see you next time